So the time has come for you to install your AMD Ryzen processor. You might have a couple questions on what to do next. We're going to cover that in just a couple minutes right here. We have the B450 Tomahawk motherboard from MSI, an updated BIOS to support the second gen um, Ryzen processor. So we have the 3700X, which is going to be going in here today, and that's what we have right here. We have our cooler here, and our Ryzen processor here. Now, Ryzen processors all have external pins, and each one of those pins needs to land exactly where it belongs. So, first off, be very careful to not bend any pins as you remove it from the packaging. Next, hold it by the sides, flip it over, and on the corner, you might not be able to see this in the camera, but in real life you would, in the corner, you're going to see a small golden triangle. We're gonna line that up down here on our board. So make sure that this little lever is up because now it's in the unlocked position. We have in the corner here the marking of where we want that arrow to line up. So we are going to gently place this over the slots and if all goes well, this is unlocked and you have those corners lined up, it's going to drop straight in for you, no problem. Next, all we have to do is take this lever bring it down into the locking position, like so, and your CPU is firmly in place. Now that your processor is in place, it's time to get your heatsink on. Now, depending on your motherboard, you're going to have equipment that will fit right here to work with the attachments on your heatsink. So we're going to put those on now. Now that our mounts are firmly in place, it's time to put on the cooler. For this particular cooler, we have a slot here and a slot here, which is going to attach here and here. And then this mechanism clamps down and tightens it. One of the good things, well, there's lots of good things, but one of the good things about uh, the Ryzen processors is that not only do they come with coolers, they also come with a decent amount uh, of thermal paste on there. So you don't have to worry about measuring, spreading, because the internet loves it when people do that anyway, other than the person leaving the comment. So we don't have to worry about any third market solutions, third party solutions, yeah. And that's gonna go straight on. So we've got that on there just about center. Side one is on. And side two is fighting me. There we go. Come 
All right, we're on, we're even. The latch is right over here to lock that in to place. All right, not the most glamorous job I've ever done, but we're on. Now, of course, we need to make sure that our cables are connected. You should have a connection right near the top for your CPU. Ours is right here. Now that the technical stuff is out of the way, we have a couple more cable options. These are for our lighting and RGB options. So these plug in for this particular cooler, plug into the front here, and we have options here and here to plug them in for this board. I cut the video to decide how I wanted to run my cable management, and looking at it now that it's done, I might rethink it. Uh, but for the time being, this is all you need. So you have your RGB connectors in, you have your power to the fan in, you have this mounted properly, the heat sink to the CPU, and you're good to go. I mean, aside from the power supply and <laughs> the rest of the computer. But this part is done. You did it. Great job. That's it for this part. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And anything else that comes along, we might have videos for that too, like a graphic card. But anyway, thank you, and take it easy.